I'm Andrew from Alpine Home Air Products. Today we're at the home of someone who's about to get a whole house ultraviolet air purifier installed in their home air duct system. Now this is probably one of the easiest air cleaning products to install. It really doesn't take that long. It's pretty fun and it's a great product to have. Through the course of this video, you'll get to see how you can install your own ultraviolet purifier as well. So let's go down in the basement and get started on this project. Okay, here we are down in the basement with the furnace, and here is the ultraviolet purifier. Let me start by talking a little bit about the purifier and what it does and how it works. The ultraviolet purifier mounts on a duct system, and this bulb goes inside the duct, and it shines ultraviolet light. Now that ultraviolet light's a purple looking light, and it kills pathogens. Pathogens would be bacteria, virus, fungus, and mold. So whenever the air passes over, it's killing those items. The benefit of that is when we can kill pathogens, it can reduce the associated illnesses um, that we might be uh, familiar with that would, could occur from pathogens. Now, ultraviolet light appears in nature. The sun creates ultraviolet light and it reduces pathogens outdoors. Because of this, industry has also used ultraviolet light, such as in water treatment plants, as well as in medical facilities to kill pathogens as well. Now it's available. Uh, for you to use in your home to get those same type of powerful benefits, the benefit of ultraviolet light in keeping the air inside your home clean and healthy. Well, where does it install? Uh, it installs in the duct system, as I said. Well, let me explain a little bit more about what you see here, what this duct system is, uh, so that you understand where you can install your ultraviolet purifier. Let me set this down. Okay. There's two basic duct systems, and what is a duct? A duct is just a big metal box or a round pipe that air flows through. Now there's two types of duct systems, a return air duct and a supply air duct. On the right hand side here we have a return air duct. Return air duct means the air is sucked into the furnace through it. It just explains the movement of, of air. Over on the other side here, on the left, above the furnace, we have a supply air duct. That means the air is blowing out through this uh, duct system and connected into the home. Here's what happens when the furnace turns on. There's a blower inside the furnace. When that blower is blowing, uh, it's blowing the air up and out through the supply plenum and it's providing heat to all of the rooms. Now, if you have central air conditioning, at the same time, uh, in the summer, it would also blow through the same ducts, cool air to each room. Well, as it's blowing, at the same time, it's also sucking the same amount of air back through the furnace or through the air conditioning coil. That air is pulled from each room through a grill and then down into this duct here. Again, this would be the return air duct. So it's a cycle of move, a cycle movement of air from the return air duct down through the bottom of the uh, furnace or air handler, up through it, and then distributed through the supply duct to each room. And the air keeps going around and around throughout the home through that pathway. Great, now that we know that, we can understand a little bit more as to where to install the ultraviolet purifier. Now we're going to look at, in a second, a few different models. Some models install on the return air side, such as the one we're installing today. Some models install on the supply side over the air conditioning coil. So when we talk about supply and return air ductwork, you'll have a better idea of where that might be. Now, this is a vertical basement furnace. Yours might be different. You might have a furnace or air handler in an attic or in a closet or in a crawl space. So it might not look exactly like this. However, the same principles apply. You'll have ductwork on both ends. It's being sucked down one end. That would be the return. And blowing out the other end, that would be the supply. So the same principles of installation will apply for you installing your ultraviolet purifier as it does for us today. Here's the model we're installing today. This is in the Honeywell UV100E ultraviolet purifier line. Now I've brought with two other models within that line so we can understand a little bit more about the options that are available in ultraviolet purifiers. Again, these are the Honeywell lines. There's other brands available such as the April Air brand, which we also sell on our website, which does the same thing. Now, the unit that we're installing today is a single bulb unit 
and it installs on the return air plenum, as we uh, talked about. This unit is 70% efficient at killing pathogens, such as bacteria, on a single air pass. That means once the air blows over it once, it's 70% efficient or effective at doing that. This model here is a two-bulb system, and this is a super high efficiency unit. It does the same thing. It also ins installs on the return air duct, but it's 87% efficient at killing the bacteria on a single air pass. So this would be a top-of-the-line system. This is a more moderate system or system that could be used for smaller homes. Now this is the particular unit that we'll be installing today. Uh, over here we have uh, a similar unit. It's a longer single bulb unit. And this one is designed in particular to kill mold, which could build up over an air conditioning coil because the coil gets wet. It's 99.9% .9 efficient at killing mold, which could build up over an air conditioning coil. So you could, in fact, install one of each of these as well as uh, one of these for complete ultraviolet uh, protection for your home air system. Now what type of assembly work needs to be done? Very little. Basically you just have to put the light bulb in. That's all. How do you do that? Uh, the bulb will come out uh, and you simply insert it into the base unit and uh, once it's in, turn it clockwise. You should hear it click into place and then you know it's done. That's it. Let's take a look at the back of the unit. Uh, back here there's a little uh, round thing and what this is, it's an airflow sensor. The airflow sensor is sensing the air moving through that return air duct and when it senses that it allows the unit to come on only when the air is flowing and that's for safety purposes because we don't want the unit to come on uh, for example if I was just to plug it in the wall now because ultraviolet light could be dangerous to look at. Um, additionally it's so that the bulb only runs when necessary and that we don't uh, waste energy or bulb life by having the unit operate needlessly. So that's an airflow sensor which turns it on and off. And then we just have a simple uh, plug. The unit just plugs in for 120 volts of electricity. And that's it. It's a real simple unit. What tools do you need to install an ultraviolet purifier? These are the tools. You need a drill. A drill bit. Now I, I'm using an auger style bit today. You don't have to have this particular type. Any larger drill bit around a half inch will do. Sheet metal shears. And these allow us to cut straight lines as well as circles. A regular pair of paper scissors. A Phillips screwdriver. A marker. And safety glasses. Let's talk about safety before we start this project. Two things to be aware of. One is when you're working around sheet metal, cutting it and handling it, it's very sharp. You can get cut. Please use precaution and care around sheet metal so you don't cut yourself. Secondly, an ultraviolet light system is not meant to be looked at. The bulb installs inside the ductwork, and there's no harm to humans when it's shining on the air inside of the duct system. But a person does not want to look directly at the bulb when it's operating. Fortunately, this would never happen under normal circumstances. And the system is designed so it can only turn on when it's actually properly installed on a duct. If I were just to plug it in now, it would not come on. Now, when you're installing it, uh, it's important to keep this in mind when you choose the location as to where the ultraviolet purifier will go on the duct system. I'm going to install mine down here because if I were to install it up higher, there is a nearby return grill. Now, I don't want to put the ultraviolet purifier right next to that grill, and why do you think that's the case? Well, imagine this bulb sticking right inside the duct here, and now right here I can see inside that duct. That means I'd be able to look directly at this bulb. So, somebody who didn't know that it's not safe to look at an ultraviolet bulb might accidentally come over and see that purple light and want to look at it. And that would not be good, because looking at an ultraviolet light might not uh, cause a person to feel they're doing anything dangerous at the moment. However, it can cause temporary or permanent sight loss. It's definitely dangerous. Don't look at an ultraviolet bulb and install it in a location where nobody else can either. Let's start the installation. 
first thing you want to do is get the installation manual and look for the template for the model that you have. Now there's three different uh, templates for the Honeywell. We have three different models. And the model that we're installing today is found on page 10. And it's simply a picture of what the unit looks like. Take your scissors and cut this page out. The next thing is to cut out the circles that are indicated, one circle and two circle. Now on the other models, you might have one circle or up to three circles. Cut out the circles uh, with your scissors. And an easy way to do that is fold on the dotted line, which happens to go right through the middle of the circle, like so. And once you've folded it on the dotted line, then you just simply cut a half circle. And once that's done, the entire circle will have been cut out. Do that for both of the uh, larger circles, as well as the two uh, small, tiny circles. Those are going to be screw holes. Uh, and on one of the other models, you might have three different uh, tiny holes. Those will be screw holes. But cut those out uh, additionally. This is the template. This piece of paper, when done, will hold up to the location where the UV purifier will be installed and we'll use it to mark the holes that we're going to cut in the ductwork. So go ahead and cut those circles out. Hold the template on the duck and using your marker, mark all the holes. Those are the areas we're going to cut out. Now we're going to cut out the holes. I'll use my larger hole saw to cut into these two larger holes and then use a small drill bit, like a 1 32nd inch drill bit, to cut out the two smaller holes. I'll start with the large holes and then I'll complete them with my sheet metal cutters or sheet metal shears. my sheet metal shears to cut out these holes. Okay, now we put the unit in place. And with the two screws provided, we use our Phillips screwdriver and screw it in. So, gently put the unit in the holes. And then one screw goes in each of the screw holes, or in a different model, you would have three screw holes. And then simply screw it in. Now with the unit installed, we simply plug it into an outlet. Now when will the unit operate? The unit will operate whenever it senses that air is moving through the return air duct. Now this applies for both the single bulb as well as the double bulb unit that attaches on the return air duct system. So first it senses that air is flowing through it and then it will come on and stay on for 40 minutes after the air stops. That's its cycle time. Now the unit that installs over the air conditioning coil comes on and off for three hour periods. It does not sense the airflow. When do you change the light bulb? Well, the light bulb does need to be changed periodically, and that's indicated here by this indicator light. Now, if no light is shining, as is the case now, that means you do not have to change the bulb. If the light is blinking on and off, that means that there's about 1 to 10 percent of bulb light life left, and it's time to order the bulb. It needs to be changed soon. And if the light here is on solid, 
that means it's time to change the bulb. The bulb is no longer useful. Bulbs last on average about two years. Also, the maintenance required for this is to clean the bulb about uh, four times a year. Now, when we go to clean the bulb, first thing we want to do is unplug the unit for about 15 minutes to make sure the bulb is cool, and then we take it out and clean it with a paper towel and window cleaner. Spray the glass cleaner on the paper towel. Gently wipe the bulbs. Make sure they're dry. And then simply replace the bulb. And that's it. Do that about four times a year. Also, do that upon the installation. You see, you don't really want to touch the bulb when you're installing it. Now if you do, it's okay simply clean the bulb before you actually turn it on. You don't want any of the oil from your fingers to be on the bulb. It could shorten the life of the bulb. Well that's it. We're all done with the installation of the ultraviolet purifier. Our installation went great. Hopefully yours did too. We are now the proud owner of a UV purifier system which I know will benefit you and your family for a healthy and comfortable home environment. Well thanks for shopping at Alpine Home Air Products.